Many of us knew the word epidemic, but after many months now, we're all too familiar, familiar with the word pandemic. Now, a new word is coming our way that health experts are warning about. It's what they're calling a twindemic. And our nine health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley, joins us to tell us more about what that is. So let's get right to it. What is a twindemic and why is this so concerning? So Tom, a twindemic is exactly how it sounds. It's essentially the confluence of two different infectious disease outbreaks occurring at the same time. And in this case, we're talking about influenza and the COVID-19. So back in March, when we first had really a pickup of virus activity with COVID-19, the flu season was on its way out, so things were starting to quiet down. But now, as we head into fall and winter, we know that the flu season is going to start to pick up with a peak in December and January. And at the same time, we also know that COVID-19 activity is going to start to pick up as the weather gets colder because the virus survives longer in the atmosphere when it's colder and because people are more likely to be congregating indoors rather than outdoors as we've been doing over the summer. So the twindemic is really the concern for the perfect storm of the two outbreaks occurring together and not just causing a lot of morbidity and mortality but also overwhelming the healthcare system again. I want to ask you more but is twindemic a new word did we just make this up or have we experienced or used the term twindemic in the past? As far as I know, I think it's made up. So it's specially coined for what we're going through. But but it's coined, I think, based on the Latin for where the pandemic comes sure. from. So now what about the because we're talking about the flu and flu shots and there's always this hit and miss aspect of flu shots. There's also some people who get their shots early, some people who don't get them, some people who get them late. There's going to be a lot more emphasis on the flu shot this year and certainly a lot more pressure on the flu shot to be the right shot. Absolutely right, Tom. And the biggest thing this year with the flu season is that it's going to be unpredictable. So on the one hand, because we're wearing masks and washing our hands and socially distancing, that is, of course, going to decrease the transmission of the flu. But on the other hand, we don't know how virulent the flu is going to be this year. To your point, we don't know whether the vaccine will correctly predict the protection that we need to offer. And then finally, we also don't know how many people will go get the vaccine because they're worried about COVID-19 concerns. So I want to give three S reasons for why every single person should get the flu vaccine this year, even if they haven't gotten it in years past. So the first is the first S is selfish. So you want to be selfish. You want to make sure you don't, you know, uh, get both of the conditions at the same time because that could be disastrous. And you also want to make sure that if you end up having flu-like symptoms, you don't end up having, you know, ending into the hospital with COVID-19 because that's what would happen if you got the flu this year. The second is a selfless reason, which is, again, to try to really prevent those hospitals from getting overwhelmed and make sure that we use our health care resources for COVID-19. And then the third is a scientific S, which is that a vaccine against one virus actually boosts our immune system to fight other viruses as well because it revs up the activity. And to the point you made about when you should get your flu shot, the sweet spot is really September or October because too early means you're not protected late in the season and too late means that you're unprotected early. So that is coming up. All right. Uh, also coming up Thursday night, we're, we're having a, a special, a town hall, a nine news town hall talking about getting people back to school and back to school safely from a health health aspect, what are you going to be able to get to people or, or bring to people in, in that special tomorrow? You know, Tom, I think this is going to be a really important meeting of the minds because we're really in an unprecedented time right now where there's no uh, rule book for how we should proceed to get our kids back to school safely. So I personally really want to focus on some of the metrics that we've been talking about in adults, such as the positivity rate, the number of new cases, uh, the rate of increase of the new cases, and translate those into kids and try to understand what those metrics have been doing in our kids so that we can best understand how to protect them as they go back to school. All right, again, Dr. Powell Coley will be part of that special Thursday night at seven o'clock as we help people get back to school. We appreciate you visiting with us this afternoon. Thanks, Dr. Coley.